There are a lot of historians that make a grievous uh, error about Tamiris. Tamiris was first generation. She did her first solo concert in 1927. Martha Graham did two solo concerts before that, but they were all Dennis Sean. A week later, in the same theater, Martha Graham did a solo concert in which she did what were clearly modern dances in that style. And Tamiris's work, she was using about four American composers in her concert. She was dealing with American contemporary material. And she was there. She was there before Hanya. She was there presenting her own work uh, at the same time as Martha, and Doris and Charles did it a, w a year later. And so, moving to Miras into the second generation is, a, is bad history. I started to teach uh, the moment I decided I was going to be a solo performer, and split from Broadway. Because I knew I'd never make a living as a concert performer without the spine of teaching. And I was very fortunate. Uh, Lucas Hoving had a teaching position in a place called Silvermine Guild of Art in Norwalk, Connecticut. If for some reason or other he was giving it up, Daniel, would you like to go? Yeah. So for the next nine years, I paid my rent. And the moment I began to tour, I began to teach. And it was a, a, a daring venture for me because I, who had taught hardly at all, would go out on tour and find a group of dance teachers. And here I was teaching a bunch of teachers who had years and years of experience before a class. So I did much homework before a class. I would get in a studio and say, what am I going to do? So teaching became uh, a necessity, which I like. I like teaching. As a teacher of technique, I'm good, but not great. So I'm not a great technician in dance. Uh, if I teach choreography and improvisation uh, and acting technique for dance, I feel I, I bring something that's of value. I would teach something called jazz dance styles, but never jazz choreography. Dance styles, I would teach a, a cakewalk, and a Charleston, and a Lindy, and a blues. And they would put on a big show with a cakewalk contest. It distresses me that so few of our choreographers uh, know jazz, or even have a, a feel for it. But that's their interest. You know. See, and in the modern field, uh, both Tamiris and I were ausnahmer, strange. We used contemporary music, we used jazz, and for many years, jazz was never on the modern dance stage. Uh, and to this day, there are very brilliant clever jazz choreographers on Broadway, nightclub and so forth. But for the concert stage, it's, a, it's an element of our culture that very few of them touch. So these young people 
are adapting different approaches. Some of them are doing dances that, strictly speaking, are not jazz dances, but they take place with a within the milieu of jazz music. Uh, and they live a fertile, exciting life within that music. And some of them are really doing what we call jazz dance. And of course, then came the embarrassing point when I pointed out to one of them, I said, you know, what you're doing is very interesting. It's not a jazz dance. <laughs> he said, what is jazz? And, uh, <laughs> and <clears throat> that's one of those poisonous questions, like, what is dance? As a recourse, you have nothing to do but flounder. There's no way that you can give a clean answer to a question like that.